everybody. It's the Mobile Home Mama. It is hotter than the Dickens out here. I don't know how you guys are surviving, but I'm in this nice air conditioned office down there all day. And then I get this great idea. I'm going to come out and do some videos. And whoo wee, if you're working outside, I got some mad respect for you. But I saw this little cutie patootie and I thought this will be a good video. And then when I opened the door, I realized that this is not a current floor plan that we do. This must be a little prototype. So I'd like to get this on the channel and I really need your guys' feedback. So if you could drop me a comment below and let me know what you think of this floor plan, because if you like it, then we love it. And that means we'll start selling it. So without further ado, this is a 14 by 48. I was gonna say optional reverse aisle, but when we get inside, I think this may just be the way that it is built. I love the classic white look and the blue shutters give it kind of a nautical feel. Okay, we got pier savers at the doors. Notice that right away. And this reminds me of the cutest little hunting cabin, which we're about to hit that season now anyways. Uh, when you first walk in, you've got your living area here. And they did this accent wall and this wall is always reminiscent. I always reminisce about a hunting cabin or think of a hunting cabin when I see that wall. But look at this. I never seen a floor plan with a kitchen cut out like this. So here we go in the living room. And then this is the kitchen. It's a cutout on the back side of the home with a built-in island right here. I remember this island from a year ago. We used to do this island quite often actually. And then it just didn't make the cut for 2024. We didn't have, um, we had some different islands that we put in the mix. And uh, here it is again. So what do you guys think? We've got the shape of a galley kitchen, but right in the middle. I had a customer bring me a floor plan like this. It was a double wide, but they wanted to kind of do the same thing. Tucked away over here in the corner, we've got the refrigerator with an overhead cabinet up above. And what's this piece of wood? That's just for decoration. Then we've got, I don't know, a little bit of something here. You could, if your hands are full, you gotta set something there. I bet a cookie sheet would fit right there if your hands are full and you're trying to get in the refrigerator. Over to the other side. Here's the cooking area. And then the sink is in this island actually. And here we go with those mixed cabinet colors again. If you saw my trend alert video, I just did a couple videos ago. Timberwolf on the bottom, black cabinet handles, quartz frost on the countertop, but look up here, bronzite. Bronzite is one of my favorite countertops. And then we've got this Timberwolf backdrop right here as part of the island. Casper cashmere on this wall. And then coming over here, we've got the accent wall over here. Timberwolf trim, remember when you do the Timberwolf trim in a window, we're always gonna have that white piece at the bottom, so keep that in mind. They've added a couple of bar lights, I think that's a great idea, and then ceiling fan in there. What else is going on? Here's a second bedroom I see. Well, I like this little cutout, that's cool. Definitely can put a dresser there. It's nice because usually it just takes a right away from where you would put a bed. Okay, here's bed two. So imagine you're having a hunting trip and you've got all the stuff, right? The chips, the salsa, the food, everything is lined up here. You got your buddy on the other side cooking it up and you just walking down the line, getting your food, heading to the bathroom. <laughs> Here's why I thought it was a reverse aisle. Second door on the same side. So you've got that front door and then the second door. Panel box there, furnace right across the street when you walk in the back door. We do have a laundry area. Here's the single bath, tub shower combination with a single vanity, okay? And then here's the primary bedroom. Not too shabby for a 14 by 48. Plenty of room in this bedroom. So anyways, let me know what you think. There's not a name to this floor plan. This is brand new, baby. And uh, let me know if you like it. I'll get it added to our lineup and let you know some pricing. As always, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you're staying cool out there. Bye-bye.